Welcome back, my lovelies. Ah, <sighs> let's get this done. Access the diadem and uh, the housing area for Ishgard, which I'm hoping to eventually get a large there on my main. But if I don't, whatever, who cares? Um, Amaric, we're back. As you can see by me jumping on the table. Stola's back? Stola? Alize, how are you feeling? Well enough, brother. Thanks to the kindness of our hosts. When they told me you had departed for Zelfatol, I found that I could rest. The outcome seemed a mere formality, as did your safe return. Thank you, my friend. Of course. I take it your mission was a success? Uh, yes and no. As if we needed any further confirmation that they are in league with the Assians. But to save another world? I think not. I too thought his story fanciful at first, but it is possible there may be a kernel of truth in all of this. At the very least, none of his claims contradict the word's account. You were following these people, Alize. Why? During my travels, I had often enjoyed tales of the Scions and their exploits, but after a time, I began to hear whispers of a gifted and theretofore unknown band of adventurers. Adventurers who had supposedly sworn to travel the realm slaying primals in the Scion's stead. The Warriors of Darkness. And in the course of investigating these rumors, you stumbled upon the Asian's involvement. Yes, exactly. Forgive me, but if these warriors of darkness mean to bring about another calamity, to what end do they hunt primals? Um, I can actually answer that because uh, that's what the Asians were doing at ARR. <laughs> Summoning primals, causing panic, making destruction, and therefore just, you know. To prompt an escalation. To deepen the beast tribe's feelings of helplessness and despair and thereby drive them to summon ever more powerful gods exactly and lest we forget these events do not occur in isolation with their patron deities being slain left and right the news of man's victory over nidhogg must surely have sown panic in the minds of the beastmen tis no wonder they wish to defend themselves power answered with greater power Death with more death. A vicious cycle fueled by fear and hatred. I know it's like all too well. Mm -hmm. Indeed. The Asians sow discord and desperation, and the warriors of darkness reap the harvest. And so it continues. Yet that is not the extent of their ambitions. The Asian himself observed that once the powerless realize that the old gods have failed them, they will have little recourse but to look to a new one. We cannot let that happen. Nope. We don't need another Bahamas. It should come morning. as no surprise, but Ali Zay and I have uncovered evidence that the Asians have been manipulating certain parties to ensure that a constant stream of crystals flows into the hands of the beast tribes. If we sever these supply lines, we should at least be able to slow the escalation. Agreed. 
Kral and I shall journey to Zelfatol and learn what we can of the Ixar's source. Then I, for my part, pledge to lead a similar investigation into the origin of the Nath supply. Sir Emmerich? As a member of the Eorzean Alliance, Ishgard is on a bound to play an active role in maintaining the security of the realm. You might also say that I have some personal motivation, given the Asian's dealings with my father. However, I make no secret of the fact that my knowledge of primal beings is scant at best. As such, I should be most grateful if one of your order were to assist me. Allow me, Sir Emmerich. I have dealt with the Nath before. <laughs> yes, yes, you have. They gave you clothes. Let us consult with Orianja then. Given his dedication to the study of primal beings, I should be surprised if he could not tell us something of value. Allow me to accompany you, brother. And before you think to refuse, know that I am not the girl I once was. I shall not be a burden. You have my word. His but face. Alize, you... <laughs> You are more than welcome. After all, it was you who set us upon this path. Damn straight. Wait a minute. I'm afraid I can't allow you to leave just yet. Not until you try on the new outfit I prepared for you. <laughs> oh, Tataru. What have I told you? This time it was my right ear. Jesus. Can you, like, actually balance your volume for once? Oh my gosh. What is wrong with you? I'm replacing you as soon as I get the Torgo baby. To think that the three of us plumbed the depths, uh, plumed the depths of the coils and confronted Bahamut himself. Had I not been there, I would struggle to believe it. Shortly after we parted ways, I heard that she had taken to the road on her own, apparently uh, on a journey of self-discovery. Precisely where to I never learned, though I suspect that was by design. So, she enjoyed hearing tales of our exploits, did she? <laughs> My apologies for keeping you waiting. Nice! Right then, shall we be off? Tataru never ceases to impress, though for a moment I feared she might furnish you with an identical outfit. Praise the twelve she did not. Mother and father were rather too fond of making us wear matching, uh, matching clothes. Do you remember that time at the studium when that girl of yours crept up behind me in the hall and whispered, Sister, please! She was not my... <coughs> Can we not have this conversation in front of the Warrior of Light? No, please. I want to hear more, Alpha Note. So be it. Another time, perhaps. To be honest, I was planning to seek you out. Uh, I was. I wasn't planning on seeking you out just yet when I set forth on my journey. I did so with grand ambitions, as you may recall. I promised I would not disappoint you. I pray you will forgive me if I do. Eh. Ah, yes, the carriage that so fortuitously arrived to spirit us away from Old Ah after a banquet. The driver informed me that I had that I had my sister to thank for the presence in Old Ah. Uh, how did you know to send help? Oh, drunken brass blades are ever less discreet than silver ones. Unfortunately, by the time I learned of the plot, it was too late to do anything more. Frankly, I am still amazed Brennan managed to find you. New garments aside, I must say that you you seem different, more uh, resolute 
than when we last met. Uh, you have the look of a woman who is ready to fight for the future of Eorzea. To extend my uh, abilities, perhaps, but I uh, have no delusions of grandeur, nor will I pretend to have found myself uh, or any such thing. I am here today because I would regret it if I weren't. That is all. Fair enough. Let us depart for the Waking Sands, then see if Urianje uh, can be of assistance. Speaking of which, do I still have a ticket? What did I tell you about spawning in my left ear? Ah, I'm yelling at you. No, I don't have a ticket. Bye, Faye. Uyanje, apologies for calling upon you unannounced. Master Elfinode, would that the scholar had seen fit to grant me knowledge of thy coming, uh, what bringeth thee and thine here this day? The warrior's darkness have returned. Pray allow us to explain. I too have heard tales uh, in recent days of primals being rise, uh, beings rising up only to be cast down by forces unknown. Alas, as thou didst observe, this uh, severeth uh, but to spur the beast tribes to pursue their goals with redoubled fervor. We had two objectives at this time. We have two objectives at this time: to identify and remove the source of the beast tribes' crystals, and to take direct action to prevent any further summoning rituals for reaching completion. The second is easier said, uh, said than done, of course. While we were fortunate enough to learn of the Ixil's plans before they came uh, to fruition, I should be surprised if the Warriors of Darkness and the Asians did not have similar designs elsewhere of which we have no knowledge. Thou wert wise to come hither, for this very day did I receive tidings from troubles across the Strait of Merthol. O oh, Grimoros uh, stirreth, and there uh, are whispers of Lord of Crags neareth his return. Uh, mere rumors mark thou, but in light of thine own discoveries. Thou cast ill afford to turn a deaf ear to their claims. Aye, we must ascertain the truth of the matter for ourselves. Let us consult with uh, the Maelstrom uh, forces stationed at the camp overlook. Thank you for your uh, counsel, Orianger. Uh, pray inform us should you learn aught else. I shall. Oh shoot, it's this part. If I may, brother Orianger, is there anything else you would like to say? Alize? If not, then uh, never mind. I only ask because you are normally rather very verbose. Nothing to add? Very well. Ere we depart, I wish to make a request. The Warriors of Darkness spoke of how the Ardor uh, had the power to break down the barriers between the planes. That our world might be rejoined, I would ask that you research this for us. Being nowhere near as well re uh, read as you, I sure, uh, I'm sure I wouldn't know where to begin. That said, I have heard t uh, tell of a promising tome, the Jiron Oracles. Mayhaps you could start there. She knows by thy leave. Camp Overlook, was it? Very well. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to. Okay. 
Okay. Ah, fancy that. Hello. It's fine. I'm not going to hurt you. You're just a child. Stupid plan. Stupid, stupid, stupid. But if I tell no one, then everyone will. Gosh, she found me again. What do, what to do, what to do, what to do. I, I come in peace only to talk. Speak, say, talk. So please, please, please do not hurt me. So this is our wily kobold uh, infiltrator, is it? No wonder the soldiers were on edge. He could very well give one a bruised knee. Huzzah! We've got him! Fine work, Scions! So, little one, thought you could sneak into my camp, did you? Plotting to steal my crystals, were you? No, no, no. I come to talk, to ask for help. Uh, but when your soldiers saw me, they drew their weapons and shouted, and I... I... Now, now, let us all take a deep breath and discuss this like civilized individuals. What is your name, child? Fikmen Gobu of the uh, 620th Order. At least I will be a Pikman one day. Well met, Gabu. I am uh, Alpha Note, and this is my sister Elise. Uh, the woman who found you is our friend. And now that you know our names, we can be friends too. Now, Commander, uh, here thinks you want to take his crystals. Gabu, but you said you came to ask for help. Why to us and not to your own people? What happened, Gabu? Can you tell us? I, um, er... No one is going to hurt you, all right? Now while we're here, not while we're here, I promise. The the patriarch, he he's the patriarch is going to summon the great great father again and you have to stop him be, beat him, fight him, stop him. Gabu's parents said they didn't want it along with many others, but the Patriarch wouldn't listen. He was so angry, raging, fuming, angry. He said that if they didn't have iron in their heart, they would serve as a uh, cope for the furnace. And then the guards took my parents and the others away. I haven't seen any of them since. Cope for the furnace. I do not want to believe it, but I have heard tales of Fosse fam fashioned for the bones of beastmen which worship use uh, worshippers use in their rituals hoping to summon more powerful incantations incarnations of their gods by the twelve that is that is sickening no one listen to Gabu no matter how much he cries plead begs cries they do not listen only talk about punishing the oat for dwellers and praising the great father Gabu loves the great father but he loves his parents too so please help Gabu, stop the Patriarch and save his parents.
Commander, of advise Maelstrom Commander that Titan summoning is imminent. Uh, should the worst come to worst, we will require their support. Time being of the essence, we three will attempt to infiltrate the Cobalt Stronghold, secure the crystals, and flee the prisoners. Free the prisoners, not flee the prisoners. Well, if you're sure, you'll forgive me if I don't seem optimistic. We'll make ready just in case. Ah, oy vey. I heard Great Father Titan loves crystals, cherishes, covets, loves them. Alright, let us, uh... Cache of crystals. Heck yeah. Why am I carrying all of them? That's a lot of crystals for one Lollafell to carry. Time is short. If you have the crystals, we should move to the next cache. Did you hear me, brother? Brother? Hi. Hi. It's just that. I'm quite certain that the crates once bore Ishgardian seals. Someone took great pain to remove all traces, but enough remains to make out the pattern. Uh, see for yourself. I struggle to imagine kobolds traveling to Corthus to obtain crystals, much less bothering to conceal their origins. I suspect that these crystals were smuggled uh, into Vilbrand by another uh, party, most likely a pawn of the Asians, as Thancred suspect, uh, speculated. I don't understand. Who are Asians? Do they worship Great Father Titan too? Uh, never you mind that. As Alize said, we do not have a lot of time. Can you lead us to the next cache, Gabu? Yes, 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 of course. Gabu knows the way. Uh, the next one is the last and is very large, very big, very huge, very large. Found it. What about you? Any luck? Nothing, nothing, nothing. This cannot be. Gabu saw them. Spied, spotted, saw. Think, brother, think. They must have moved them. Yes. The question is where to and why. Uh, with within Ogamora, uh, where they summoned Titan once before and mean to do so again, is our only explanation. What about mother and father and the others? We have to help them. We will, Gabu. We will. Stay calm. We still have time. They have yet to call for the remaining crates, yes? So if they had, they then would have found the other uh, caches empty and sounded the alarm. Nevertheless, I believe the time for stealth it has passed. We must reach the nave. The navel and seize the remaining crystals. There is no other way to prevent Titan summoning. But first, give me your crystals that I might deliver them to Commander, uh, the Commander's custody. We dare not take them into the bowels of the mountain. There you go. Sheesh. Take the crystals. I do that. So. All right. 
gotta go in there. Dude. Quickly, you clods. Briskly, swiftly, quickly. I will not suffer any further delays. Lay down your arms and surrender. We have your crystals. There will be no summoning this day. Overdwellers, here? But how did you... Where are my parents, Patriarch? Where are they? Oh, no. Mother? Father? Coke for the first. You monster! How could you? I. We are the servants of the Lord, Lord of Crags. We are his, and that he may drink of our blood and partake of of our flesh, that he might draw upon the strength of his children and defend them from the tyranny of the overdwellers. No, Isaac, not yet. I understand, Patriarch, I do. Your fear, your anger, your hate. You would do anything to protect your people, anything to deliver them from despair, whatever it takes to ensure that those who threaten you can never do so again. But in your single-minded pursuit of this objective, you have brought suffering of your own kith and kin. Uh, you have sacrificed the lives of, very, of the very people you sought to protect. But it, uh, it need not be this way, Patriarch. Renounce this bloody course, cease your attempt to summon your god, and work with us together to build a lasting peace. Another piece to be abandoned at the Overdweller's convenience? Oathbreakers, all of you, liars, betrayers, oathbreakers. You take, you take, you take. And when you have had your fill, you sue for peace. You promise that this time, this time is the last, until you grow hungry again. And when we dare defend ourselves, you declare this beast tribe cannot be suffered to live, that our god drains the land of ether and brings not but suffering, death, destruction, suffering upon us all. I will hear no more lies from you and yours, Overdweller. You've ruined your own lands. You'll not ruin ours. I said I'd come for you, and I did. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Say something, please. 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 Uh oh. Wake up, 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 wake up! They did Titan Derby in this one, not gonna lie. They're like, um, what did we do? <laughs> Seven hells. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Alpha, leave it to me. We must away.
Confronting Titan once more. Alright, my lovelies, I'm gonna end this episode here. Like, comment, subscribe if you so choose to. And I will see you in the next one. We'll see if I add Titan in the next episode, or just, you know, uh, have it directly after. But we'll see. Bye bye!